Hey guys, my last several videos have been intense for you, I'm sure, I know, I know I'm aware. You can only imagine how I feel um, growing up, you know, relearning, re-experiencing everything I know, and it's only not even just from what I know from my parents, um, but things that, you know, would manifest in the external realm, in the external circ circumstance, wherever I've lived, through other people reconfirming things, treating me a certain way, revealing secrets to me, so on and so forth. And this goes back to, again, like I said, my ancestor, my ancestry, my Anatolian heritage, Armenian Anatolian, dating back, you know, Hamshan, Sasun, connected to the Jews and the Yazidis, so on and so forth. So anyways, so as you know, for the past three to four years, I've been living in Gumri, Armenia, straight, without ever leaving. The only time I went to Yerevan, um, after the first three days that I stayed in Yerevan in 2018, um, I went back in 2019, I think two or three times, just for paperwork, for my some legal stuff, and for my passport, and... Um, for the property that I own and so on and so forth. But anyways, um, yeah, in this three to four years, I can recall people from outside and the locals and people all over the nation kind of just making fun of me, but being so fucking supportive and looking at me like I'm like this ancient alien come from out of space living here. How long is she gonna last? Because I was always all about, I'm here to restore this place and turn it into the city from destruction to healthy wealthy green as you know talar is a very ancient old armenian name um it means the tree of life it means green as they say in the gumri dialect as well as in western and armenian in western armenian it's so i basically worked in many different types of organizations from artistry to historians to business to spiritual and cultural, you know, heritage, music, arts, lots of different things, lots of different things. And um, people speak here. Once your word is in, that's it. And I was like the first person to come here and stay here. And um, again, they were making fun of me because they're like, how are you going to do this? And I'm like, trust me, it's going to be done. And um, since then, you know, musicians from diaspora and Armenians have come and lived here. Um, other different people that have come and lived here since I've been doing it. A lot of um, older Gumri people who lived here before the earthquake have some of them returned or restored some buildings, so on and so forth. But they finally invested. So $20 million plus is in the works. So I'm staying here until I die. I'm not returning. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not moving to Europe. I'm not moving to the States. I'm not my life is here guys it's my birthright it's my country armenia is my country so um anytime i've ever said anything um with criticism or negativity in your own perspect perspective about armenia or gumri it's because i love this nation i love my people i love my culture i've always felt it in my veins in my bones i always knew it was my calling especially when i was 17 years old on my 17th birthday when i saw my great grandmother in front of me and I knew this was my calling to be here so within the three to four years um, a lot of tourism has has happened here you know they've rebuilt lots of cafes restaurants uh, constructed you know the fucking pavements the streets the roads um, lots of people from Yerevan lots of people from other outside of the But now it's all about um, the people coming here, moving here, living here. You know, whether they're from Yerevan, whether they're diaspora in Western Armenians, or they're just anybody else coming to live here from other places because this place is gonna be amazing, all right? And I said this was gonna happen, I knew this was gonna happen. I've been working my butt off and I'm gonna continue to do so. But I'm gonna do so in my own right because I have intentions here. Yes, of having multiple properties and buildings, 
under my name, like I have this one here. But um, also having my own occult witch shop slash temple. Um, here in Gumri, and there's no such thing like that here in Armenia, outside of the Temple of Garni, which is a very commercialized leadership by men that's connected to the Christian church. I don't want anything like that. I'm doing my own. So I'm a good cook. Um, my family, they, they've had multiple restaurants. So, you know, I've been part of like the pubs, restaurants, you know, nightlife in that sense, restaurant per se scenes here in Gumri. Um, but it's not my calling. It was only me getting involved in order to, you know, show people like, look at me, I'm fully tattooed and I'm living here. Why can't you come here and invest? Come live here. It's different, you know? And um, what else? What else do I want to say in regards to that? Yerevan has an LGBT community. Yerevan has a metal scene, metal music, metal, you know, concerts, pubs. Um, so Gyumri... Um, there's many tattoo shops in Yerevan. There's some here as well. And I remember when I first came here, I got a job at one of the tattoo shops and they said, come, you know, join us, hang around us. Like, we'll be your tribe, you know, and it was great. But again, like I said, I got to fulfill my duty and what I'm here to do. Um, I've seen lots of girls get tattoos here since I've been here. So that's great. Like every place in the world, guys, no place stays the same forever. Canada used to be a farm. So was the United States back in the day. Every place in the world, migration, immigration, things move. It doesn't stay the same, okay? Um, yeah, the Armenian population has dropped considerably, but it's also going up because a lot of foreigners as well as Western Armenians have been moving here, so. Acting. And it was the original cultural center of Armenia, and therefore, I feel it will be again. And that's why big another part of the reason why I feel Gumri is perfect to have my witch shop operating so that's gonna take some time for it fully to manifest and um, you guys should come here check it out and um, I think that's all I want to say right now but um don't underestimate my power okay don't underestimate your power either but don't underestimate my power because every time you guys laughed at me fuck i created and i created until look what i've done you can thank me later guys bye so one of the best parts of this whole thing is that like i would say a good 90 percent of people maybe even more weren't aware that the last actually since i've been here i've been doing a lot of undercover investigative work talking to locals showing things documents and papers to investors on what it would be like how people would be treated from outside what what would be done this what we needs to be doing how much investments over here how much investments over there and that's what really 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 worked um and i think it was during the coronavirus situation and right after where it was like we're gonna do this paper works out and if somebody ever comes to me or anybody else and talks shit and says how could she have done that when there's many many corporations or businesses from outsider operating in Gumri, which there isn't but there's a few um eight years ten years well then my response to that is why didn't they invest eight years ago why didn't they invest five years showing all the paperwork proofs facts talking to the locals from all ages from all walks of life so thanks again for watching, thanks again for believing, and thanks again for whether you believe in me or not, or hate me and laugh at me, shit manifests, because I'll be doing the work. I love you.